Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix. Dead space is having an issue with crashing. It is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, lagging. FPS drop, stuck our loading screen, and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about, we have to start with a simple restart. So to do this, we just need to go over here in the start icon. Now from here, go to the power icon. Do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch it again and we have to check whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is all about. We need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. Usually, in the practice, we launch the game from Steam. So that is might be an issue. So we need to try it launching it from the installation folder. Just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Install it file and make sure where the game is installed. Right now, as you can see, the game is installed on D. So I have to close this, close this as well. Now go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, we have to go to this PC. Now go over here to local this D. Go to Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. From here, go to dead space. Now from here, you can see this is the application. We need to launch the game from here. After trying launching the game from here, still if you're having the trouble, we need to run the game as an administrator. So right click over here, go to show more option, go to the properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply, or you have to click over here, make sure that you run on Windows 7, or you can run this on Windows 8. Either you can try on Windows 7 or you can try it on Windows 8. Now go for apply, go for OK. Once afterwards, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure one thing we need to delete the saved game file. Just go over here in the file explorer, go over here in the documents, make sure you don't have a space. Right now, as you can see, we have a folder over here for the dead space, right click and we have to go for delete. And keep in mind, when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game and you have to start from the scratch, but even it worked for many users. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to window security. So just go over here, search for the control panel. We have to click on this one. Now from here, go to system and security, go to Windows Defender Firewall, go to allow an app feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to add the game. Keep scrolling down and navigate to dead space. So right now the dead space is added. You have to make sure that you have to put a check on both the boxes, private and public. You have to put a check on private and you have to put a check on public. Once it is done, Close this, go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. Just need to move to the next one. That is all about. We need to unplick all the USB devices. So we need to unplick joystick. We need to unplick if any external devices are connected. Just unplick everything. And once afterwards, try launch the game. Still, if you are having the trouble, we need to perform a clean boot. Just go over here. Search for system configuration. Just click on this one. We have to go over here into the services. Go to disable or go to hide all the Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK. And once it is done, just go for restart. Once the restart is done, try launching the key. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to, after giving with this, we need to disable the Steam overlay. Go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties. And right now, as you can see, if enable the Steam overlay while in game, if it is turn it on, we have to turn this off and try launching the key. Next one, we have to give commands on the launch option. So the first one is DX11. We have to start with DX11. If DX11 is not working, you have to start with BX12. Or BX12 is not working, you have to start with B3, B2. Now, as you can see, everything is remote. We just need to remove everything. Once everything is removed, we just need to go over here and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to when close all the overlay application, so just go over here, right click, go to the task manager. And right now, as we can see, there are a lot of things running in the background and all the unwanted things should be remote. So just go over here and as you can see, Discord is over here. So just remove the Discord, which is an example of our clocking application and go over here, remove overlay application as well. So remove all these unwanted things and once afterwards, just go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. Just go over here, search for graphics settings and click on this one. And right now we need to add the game. Just click on add desktop app. 
Now from here, we have to navigate to the installation folder. B, Steam library, Steam apps common. Now from here, dead space, add this and go for add. Once it is added, you can see the dead space. Go over here and expand this. Make sure that GPU preferences are set into high performance and you have to save and try launch the game. The next one is all about we need to update the windows so try updating the windows and also make sure the ink we should increase the virtual ram go over here search for view advanced system setting click on this one go to the advanced tab settings advanced once again change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk go to the custom size which is which is initial size 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size three times the total ram so just go over here search for the calculator and just go over here now we need to type a RAM. So we just need to go over here to 16 GB, multiply it with 1024, and you have to multiply it with 1.5. That is 24576. Copy this and we have to paste it. Next one, 16 GB multiplied with 1024, and you have to multiply it with 3, that is 14 and 152, and copy this and we have to paste it. So once both value has been set, just Tap on OK and once afterwards try launch the game. Stay if I'm the trouble, we need to update the graphics card. So just go over here at before adding a link in the description to the NVIDIA and to the AMD. So the NVIDIA users just go over here, select everything like the GeForce should be selected. GeForce 16 series if you're on the 16 series, GeForce GT is 1650. And if you're on the Windows 11, Windows 11 and go for find. And right now, as you can see, if you scroll down, you'll be able to scroll down over here and you'll be able to find if you're on the Windows 11, you can download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10, download this one. You can also try updating the graphics card. Just go over here, go to the graphics and go over here. And we have to go to the 700, go to submit. And once everything has been done, if you're on the Windows 11 64-bit edition, download this one. And if you're on the 64-bit, you can download this one. You can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++, just go over here, try downloading if you're on a system is based on x64, download this one, and if the system is based on x86, download this one, and install, restart as a mandatory, and try here the key. You can also try verify the game file, which is an important step, so just go over here in the game, right click, and go to the properties, go to install that file, and just click on the verify game file which is gonna take a bunch of time because it is gonna cross check every single file of a game and if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing, we'll be having trouble. So you just need to wait this to get completed. So I'll be showing you a very few important bunch of steps that can be done hereafter.
and once done, just close this and try launch the key. Next one, we need to uninstall and reinstall the key. Just go over here, right click, go to the manage and uninstall the key. And we have to reinstall it back, but we should not be installing it back on the same lock disk. We have to try either a C or E. That's it. I hope this video is helpful. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos. And don't forget to visit our website gameseries.com for these kind of uh, you know articles and all those things. That's it. Bye.